Hello everyone, it's your girl Deli here. Welcome to a brand new video. Today we're actually going to be furnishing a house I've made that I would like to live in right now. Basically, I have been looking to move for months now, but I can't find a place that has both good internet and an outdoor area. So I got to the point where I was like, you know what? I'm gonna build where I want to live in The Sims and hopefully it will come true one day. So that's what we're gonna do. And instead of doing it as like a speed build, I've already done the build and I'm going to be furnishing it with you guys just in live time, just chilling out together just to mix it up a little bit. So without further ado, cheers, get comfortable, get relaxed, and let's play some Sims. Jumping into The Sims, this is my lot of three townhouses. I've decided to make the middle one mine because I love white townhouses with like black detailing. I think they look so beautiful and I love the contrast between white and black. But of course, there's a couple of other styles here, one that's a little bit more traditional and another one which has had a bit of a fresh uh, paint job and is more like blue and friendly. And then at the back, I've put a modern extension on mine because I love the fusion between old and new and that is probably what I would dream to live in so I've got this uh, modern exterior and I've actually used windows from get together which I don't use very often but I love the industrial vibe of them and a bit of the glass roofing that we got in an update recently so I'm just gonna hang out and build a little bit in terms of the floor plan I'll just show you guys what it looks like uh, but basically I've got a corridor here from the front door some planters at the front as well uh, this is going to hopefully be I think our study area so this is where I'll make my videos um, actually no change my mind this is gonna be the master bedroom because it's an ensuite here the main bathrooms on the other side and down here is going to be kitchen and dining upstairs is actually going to be the living area because I know that's kind of fun and then this is going to be the studio room although I've put double wardrobes in here so this could be the master bedroom but then you'd have to go downstairs to go to the bathroom and that might be kind of annoying so <laughs> I think we'll keep this as the studio upstairs and we're definitely gonna say that it's gonna have beautiful aircon because my apartment here is so hot all of the time and then this is our little backyard and also fenced front yard for my chow chow my future chow chow which hopefully I'll get soon I'm just gonna move these objects out of the way because um, I did grab a few objects already that we can use and I did the bathrooms already because I just thought um, those weren't as exciting to do, so they're pretty basic. Um, so let's go ahead and I'm thinking for the kitchen, maybe we'll do the counters going over here. So I thought we could do these industrial counters, but to be honest, if this was like my dream home right now, I would definitely rather have matching marble tops to the marble floor. I don't think I'm gonna be lucky enough to live in a house with a marble floor, but I mean, just for the fun of it, we'll have it in The Sims. <laughs> I kind of don't want a fridge obstructing the glass here like I don't think that's a really good idea so what I might do is put like a half end counter just like that so there is a slight gap there um, and then we can put the fridge on the other side just like that and we might make it a black fridge too just to tie it in with the lights and we might put the stove just here so let's pop that in uh, do we want a black stove or a white stove I think we'll just go the white one Ooh, but then we don't want to have the stove right next to the sink, do we? So we'll need to move that across a little bit unless the sink goes on an island, which I like to have an island bench in case I film for you guys some cooking. Not that we do a whole heap of cooking on this channel, obviously, but I feel like it's a nice option to have if we do want to do it. And I think we'll have a dining table as well. So we don't need to have like a big clear space. We can actually put the, the sink on this side. So that's cute. And then they, these lights actually go perfect over it love that and in terms of these I don't really like those cupboards I wish they were a little simpler um I'm just thinking do we want to have like plain black ones like this or do we want to go glass ones I feel like I would love to have glass ones because then you can kind of show off your glassware or another thing that's actually really nice is having shelving in kitchens and then in terms of the shelves we should just put a whole heap of cute stuff on there so we're gonna have a little plant I love my plants and my plants are still alive which is a really good sign because to be honest, I did actually think they would definitely die. <laughs> Might put, oh, we don't really want to have those on the shelves. It'd be great if we had little bowls and glasses to put on the shelves. I mean, we can use them from bite bug technically, but I feel like the Sims would probably just grab them off if you actually want to download this and use it. 
So we might not actually do that. I love these, I think these are really cute. Apparently I need heaps of cooking utensils for all of the cooking that I don't do. I mean, maybe we can leave the top one blank. Does it matter if that if that's not filled in? Oh, and I would love to have a little herb garden actually hanging on the wall. Ooh, we need one of these. Maybe we'll get one to kind of match the flooring. Does this match the flooring or do we want the brighter one? Uh, I think this one looks a little bit better. So we'll maybe put the chopping board over there again for all of the cooking that I really don't do that much of. This can be my little herb garden thing that's on the wall, like a wall mounted little herb area. I think that would be really cute. I mean, I don't know how actually user friendly it would be if it would be really annoying to actually take care of. And But we'll just kind of put it down like that. I just think that would be kind of cool. Maybe pop the chopping board there and yeah, nice clean cut kitchen i guess we could get like an industrial table i mean i'm all about that industrial vibe so we could go with that it's just not very clean cut for me i like it to look clean cut and modern oh i do like this table guys i think we're gonna have to use this glass one i know it's annoying to clean but luckily in the sims we don't have to clean it so maybe we'll go ahead with the glass and i love these chairs i love see-through chairs i love see-through things because they don't take up any space visually like you see through them so they're not as cluttered so I really like them but I don't think it actually goes with this table damn it I really wanted to use them oh my gosh I just realized these chairs from bowling stuff pack go perfectly with this table from get famous like they're the exact same color swatches and look and feel this is the chair that was made to go with this table but I'm not like a huge fan of the design of it I'd honestly prefer these I love playing sims when you're designing like your dream home for yourself these chairs are quite nice these chairs a lot a lot of, a lot of players use like I reckon these were surprisingly successful I mean they're really really pretty do you think that's too many on either side maybe it should just be like a four chair table <gasps> And I want the pretty fruit bowl. Remember when this fruit bowl came out with Jungle Adventures? And when we first saw it, we were like, oh my gosh, it's a holy fruit bowl. It's beautiful. For the extension here, I've actually stopped the brick because this is like a new wall. So it wouldn't have that vintage brick pattern on it because we're being very realistic. A lot of you guys are like, why do you always use these paintings from City Living? I like the shape of them and I like the pictures in them. I especially like this. It'd be cool to get maybe some photography pieces um, uh, in the sims 4 like photography of sims because we don't really have like ph photographic papers i don't know pa papers what am i talking about paintings oh and i also put in these industrial lights that i quite like um because my first place that i moved into while i was still doing youtube i'm actually going to size them down a little bit had industrial stage lights throughout it and i just thought it was really cool and it's kind of a style that i've been wanting to keep if i had a dog do i want a rug under my dining table and then when you clean stuff you have to then vacuum the rug under the dining table and get food stuck in it so I feel like we don't need to, we don't need to do that. Um, I am gonna make a little Mr. Chow Chow corner because he's gonna be able to access his little food bowl and he needs treats, you guys. He definitely needs some little chow treats. So I'm gonna put them here in the kitchen. Is it okay to have dog treats in the kitchen? I don't know. <gasps> Oh, and we don't have a laundry. Damn, I didn't think of the laundry issue. We could put in a European laundry right here. I mean, it's a little bit squishy, but we can do it. I think we should. And we need to go to laundry. I feel like the laundry items are in the weirdest spot in the build and buy catalog as well. Like, where are they? They're like in activities or something, miscellaneous activities. I could never find them. Here they are. I think we're just gonna have to make a little laundry room like this, go like that, put a little door there. That's all good in the hood. If this door was there, we'd actually have a really nice like shelf area. So maybe I will just switch these around quickly. That works. Um, yeah. Cool, we have a laundry. So we're gonna have to put some laundry stuff up here, maybe a red one. Let's filter this by pack. Oh, oh, we can put the dog food in here. Oh, it doesn't fit. We're gonna have to lift it up using the nine key. Um, for those of you guys who don't know how to do that, it's actually a really useful little, little move objects kind of cheat that you can do. I'm actually gonna size this down as well because that's one big few packets of, uh, well, three big packets of dog food. Okay, let's do the red doggy one. So that's all good. And I actually think that what would be really nice is if we add in a couple of the extra things from laundry day. 
Is that gonna, oh, this is probably gonna obstruct the Sims getting actually to the laundry unit. But what I was gonna say is we should use this broom in here, like a few cleaning products, you know how it is. And this also means that, oops, we are going to need to have some laundry baskets. So I'm gonna put one in there. I'm gonna lift this gown up. Actually, that'll be too high for a Sim to grab it. We'll go like that. And the other bathroom will need another one. Uh-oh, hello. Where is this gonna fit? Oh no. Okay, it looks like there's no laundry basket in this bathroom, or only this one, which is kind of annoying, but oh well, she'll be right. Okay, so we've got our beautiful kitchen. We've got our little reading area. I'm gonna maybe put a plant under here just because plants make good air for you to breathe. And that's why we need a plant here. Ooh, wow. Oh, that's nice. That's chic. That's hot. Ooh, that's hot. This was going to be the master bedroom, but there's not really any amazing wardrobe down there. But if we make the master bedroom up here, then we don't really have a nice bathroom. Oh my gosh, this would be such like a perfect shaped bedroom. It's so nice and big. I want this to be my main butt bedroom my bedroom. I feel naughty doing that. I think we can fit in the bathroom in here, but what we're gonna have to do is actually have less of a wardrobe, but it's gonna have to sit in just like that, which, you know, it's not too bad. I'm not that mad about it, but it's a little bit of a shame, which means this house is gonna have three bathrooms. That is living large. Okay, I'm gonna pull just, just a little sneaky. Just a little bit of extra room and plumbing going into the other house. I just, I just need that little extra room for me to shower in. We really need to have showers in the game that aren't like full on shower cubicles, like just modern glass ones. I actually gave that feedback to the Sims where I was like, can we please just have kind of normal looking showers? Because in real life, when you get a shower put in, you don't necessarily have the this big shower unit. You might get tiles and glass and then put the taps in and then you're good to go. I think I'm gonna use this one. The last two houses I've lived in, we've had um, dark tiles in the bathroom and it's kind of handy because it doesn't show up grime and dirt as much. So I do like having darker showers, but I think for this bathroom, because we've got dark ones downstairs, we might have lighter ones upstairs just for a bit of fun or reverse the color scheme a little bit. Be nice to have a little bit of color in this one. Mm. You know what? But it ain't realistic to what I'd want in real life. So we're gonna have to go all white tiles because I'm boring and minimal. Oh no, we're gonna have toilet next to the window. Hmm, I don't know if I like that idea. Let's maybe put the mirror here and just get like a little sink unit instead. And then the toilet can go over here so you can have your little toilet privacy. Love that. I don't understand why these shelves, you like can't put anything on them. Am I right that you can't put anything in them? Like what is the point of them when you can't use them? Slightly confusing that one. Okay, my boring bathroom is done. We could have the door here, which would make a little bit of sense. Do I wanna have lights next to my bed? Probably not because I'd rather have bedside tables and I don't wanna have this bed. I wanna have a more comfortable bed. I mean, the four post is pretty amazing, but mm, maybe not that one. <gasps> Ooh, I've always wanted a really comfy bed head, but I don't know about you guys, but I'm always such a cheaper when it comes to beds. Like I don't like spending money on my bedding, which is kind of crazy because it's where you spend so much time, but I am cheap as. Like I got my bed from my mom's friend's garage and I had bed bugs for like a month. I'm not kidding. I had bites all up my leg and I was like, it's fine, it's fine, don't worry about it. It, it they'll go and then they went and it is fine and now you guys are gonna think I'm super unhygienic or something which I swear I'm not I'm a good person I swear I don't like this bed I'll be honest I always have white duna covers as well why am I so boring I mean I like fun accents like I have gold chairs I know it's a little excessive or it's a little over the top but I am extra if you didn't know that welcome to the channel and I actually usually have one side of the bed with a standing lamp and the other side uh, with a lamp on the table I don't know why but I really like things that aren't super matching like a little bit of mismatch as we we say I like it this is a pretty cool light I do like that light. These paintings are kind of fun. Ooh, will it annoy you guys if we have four, if two of them are matching? Is that too much? Maybe it's a little much. We'll just go with the two. Yeah, we'll space them out a little bit just to make it look slightly more balanced. I also have a plant thing next to my bed too on this side. So we'll have that and the plants. Ooh, is she a little big? Do we need to size her down? I think we do. There we go. Bit of a weird shadow, but she goes all right. 
Ooh, it'd be cool to have an old school fireplace in the bedroom from the original home. Ooh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. So that's like an old fireplace that was in the original home. And maybe we'll continue these exposed bricks on this side. Love it. I really don't like TVs in rooms, so I wouldn't have a TV in my own bedroom. Ooh, maybe I could have some like old school vintage painting over here. Nothing too big because I'm not like super rich, but maybe it was handed down to me somehow because I would think that was pretty cool. We definitely need a statue of Mr. Chow Chow. Unfortunately, there isn't a Chow Chow statue here, but let's just say Mr. Chow Chow is this tan color and let's pretend that that's a Chow Chow statue. Cool vintage mirror on the wall, maybe in a goldy color because your girl loves her golds. And because I'm a self-absorbed YouTuber, we will need to have some kind of full length mirror in here. I just want something like super basic. Right, that'll do. And Mr. Chow Chow needs a bed, so we'll get Mr. Chow Chow bed. Oh my gosh, it can't be a cat bed. It has to be a Chow Chow bed. Oh, the rainbow's so cool, but it's a cat rainbow. Let's get him this one. There you go, so he can lie in front of the fireplace. Aw, and be like super comfy and then we can have nights together on the weekends in the bedroom with the fire going in the winters okay i seriously need to get a chow chow it's getting it's just sad at this point isn't it oh why is it why yes there we go i mean it's not perfect but it's fine it's fine so that's my boudoir and Mr. Chow Chow's boudoir. And then we've just got this area to go, which is the lounge room. I put my TV up there. I think we will have a nice rug over here. And I'm, I'm always tempted to go the fluffy rug, but this is a pretty nice rug, this one. But I feel like something that's a little bit more natural and earthy looking although i'm just going for the super glam fluffy rug okay fine we'll, we'll go with it oh it would be nice to have it like in a deep forest green or red oh we can go blush for the sims Couches are really hard to choose. I do like L-shaped couches. I'm definitely an L-shaped couch kind of girl. So I'm just thinking, what options do we have for L-shaped couches? I feel like this one will tuck nicely. Ooh, this one has like storage underneath. Maybe we could actually use that somehow with a couch to make it L-shaped with that. Okay, that is definitely, that definitely doesn't work. That is not the right color. I do really like tan brown things, which is kind of random, but I love tan brown. I don't want a white couch because it would get really dirty. This is so hard to pick. I can't do it. Eh, maybe we'll just go like a super basic as one. Okay, I think I'm just going to pick this couch just because it's easy to piece together into a couch that looks like L-shaped. Um, I mean the color I'm not mad about. The only other color we could probably do that I would be happy with is the black, but yeah, black couches, I don't know if that's for me. There's like yellow and there's like cat cushions. There's just too many colors and patterns going on for me to be able to handle. So I don't think we're gonna be able to use those. Oh, and then we could have like another piece over here. Oh, I do actually really like this couch. It's a shame it doesn't color, come in more like natural and neutral colors because it's a really good one. Ooh, and it could have like wood ends like this where you can put your things on there. We could even tie it in to be the exact same color of the couch. That looks kind of cool, doesn't it? Because then it's like you can put your books there and store things on the couches. Yes, which means I don't want that in the middle. You could have cushions. No, Ottomans. <gasps> these wooden things. I love these wooden things. They're so pretty. It's a very modular looking lounge. You know, you can pull apart the pieces and put them together, which isn't such a bad thing, you know? I also love this tree that we got in an update. I think that's so pretty. Oh, and I love this one too. Oh my gosh, so many beautiful plants. I just can't pick which ones I like best. We'll have my fan mail here. All the, oh, it doesn't really sit very nicely. There we go, it can just sit like that in a green lamp. <gasps> ooh, ooh, and we need it. Oh my gosh, I sounded like a monkey then. I was like, ooh, ooh. I do want to have the Get Famous lamp. Is it this one? Oh, these are so cool. These look sick, size down. I don't know, just that. Okay, no, nah, it looks a little weird. Oh, this one, this one's a little less intense. This one's like just a singular one as opposed to a double one where it's like, oh my gosh, we're actually on a movie set. Uh, it's kind of looking a little bit cluttered, isn't it? 
And I've gone a little overboard with the plants in the corner. As much as I love this tree, it just doesn't go with my lounge room. This fern's quite nice. But this fern is like the queen of all ferns. I love that fern. That fern is just everything. <laughs> Okay, well, maybe the blue cools down this space a little bit more. I think the, the blue actually goes better. Oh, we could go green on green. No, that looks terrible. Ooh, the black rug actually doesn't look too bad. I just really wish these couches came in gray or white because now it looks like super duper beige. Like it's just a beige, but I think we got to live with it. It's fine. It's it's close enough to what, what would work in real life. It'll do. I put one of these lights in. I love those lights from Get to Work. I'm not sure if anyone else has the same obsession with them like I do, but I really, really like them. I think they're really great lights. Okay, so that's the lounge room. Ignore that the, f the fact that the couches are kind of this weird orange beige color. Imagine they were gray and they would be really, really nice if they were gray. Oh, yeah. I, I think they would be really, really nice. Okay, maybe I'll also put one more little thing there. And yay, we've built my house gonna put a couple of paintings here you know just for a little bit of a little bit of something something else very nice and a mirror here at the end of the hallway because I just love mirrors <laughs> okay fine we'll put one more mirror over here because I'm a vain youtuber a little yoga mat over here so I can get into my yoga which I've always wanted to do which I've never actually done a little toy box here for Mr. Chow Chow because he's gonna have to have lots of little toys because he needs that in his life. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot our study. Almost forgot the most important room in the house. How could I? So I'm definitely going to need my more views video station and I'm gonna use that natural light uh, from here. You need a bookshelf to stay, to stay educated. Get some plants happening in the background. Maybe some bricks here because they would look pretty sick in the background, I think some lights too. Yes. There we go. This is coming along now. To be honest, I just want heaps and heaps of plants. I love plants. I love greenery. It makes me happy. Oh, and then and then you guys can see all the plants in the background of the videos and you guys can be happy as well. The acoustics are a lot better with carpet in a room, but I actually want floor floor boards. <laughs> floor boards in here and I'll just have like a nice little ruggy. There we go. Uh-oh. Blank wall. Oh, we could have like another old fashioned fireplace in here. Oh, looks a little, little big. Just, just a tad too big. Probably need a laptop over here because playing without any separate computer from this video station in the game can be pretty annoying in The Sims 4. Um, you kind of need to have both because you can't do everything on this one that you can on other PCs in the game, which is a real shame because I feel like you should be able to. Ooh, gold lamp. Love a shiny gold lamp. Mm, gimme, gimme, gimme. These are my beautiful pictures of my boyfriend and my family <laughs> and very important top secret YouTube files. Ooh, and makeup because... I wear makeup in my videos. And a very inspirational poster to complete the entire look and feel of a Audrey Hepburn. I love Aud Audrey Hepburn. There we go. All right, you guys, so this is my finished house, my townhouse that I hope to find. So let's all cross our fingers and toes that a place will come up soon um, that I can move into and then a Mr. Chow Chow will come along. Let me know if you guys build your dream homes in The Sims 4, or if you just build little homes that would be realistic for you to live in right now, or realistic in the not too far future, or if you just build ginormous mansions and you're like, yes, this is my future home. I like to do both personally. And do let me know if you'd like me to furnish these other two builds in a speed build with the whole construction of the whole thing in it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I can't wait to speak to you soon. So soon.